Hello everybody, my name is Eric and today we're going to be looking at the Windows subsystem for Linux versus just running native Windows versions of applications, especially applications which run better on Linux but are also available on Windows. For example, we're using Kata Live and I'm going to sort of take a look at the, 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 I guess you would call it like the feel, how smooth is it, how does it run performance wise in comparison to native Windows? Now, I expect that WSL is actually going to do quite well and here's why. So people uh, think of WSL as a VM on Windows, but a more accurate way of thinking about it is that Windows and WSL are both VMs because of how Hyper-V works. Unlike other hypervisors, Hyper-V virtualizes your whole system, which does cause a performance hit, but that performance hit hits Windows as well. In my experience, Linux generally is more optimized for a virtual machine than Windows. So we may see a closer performance than you might expect. So, I'm just doing the timeline scrubbing. This is a 4K 60 video. So, should run, you know, it's a pretty demanding thing to run. I can see we're getting decent CPU usage. And here's the native uh, Windows version. Let me just make sure this is also running in 4K 60. And there we go, we got this. And this is scrubbing decently, similar. So let's just play a bit of that. Okay, that is awful. I will, I will edit that out of this video. I don't know why. Let's look and see what our audio settings are on the Windows version. Uh, playback, maybe. Audio WAS API. I, I don't know. That's, that just sounds so awful. Okay. Well, we're not going to play too much of that because that is absolutely terrible. I'm going to have to take off my headphones if I keep playing that. I, I will cut this out so that you don't have to hear this. So, but... We, uh, because there's no audio in this video, so I don't know what it's playing. But here we go, so we got decent... Like it's not quite hitting the 4K60, but it's it's playing decently. Now let's go back to our Linux version. And I would say timeline performance-wise, I couldn't easily guess which one is faster. The, the Linux one seems more stable. I find this really impressive how well this works because I've because my understanding is this is essentially running under RDP on the local machine, which is similar to how WinApps for Linux works. And this this is much better. It's got GPU support. So in theory, if we go, we can probably we might even be able to render with a GPU. OK, so let's try rendering and see how that compares in terms of performance. Uh, project render. Now I'm going to go for H264, and we'll call this video WSL. Now we'll do more options. Maybe we can have. Okay, that should. I assume the defaults are the same cross platform, so now we can just see how long this is going to take. Now bring Task Manager into your view so you can see how much it's using of each system resources. Uh. Okay, it's using about half the CPU, a couple of gigabytes of RAM. And it's rendering at 23 to 30 FPS, which is a decent result for a 4K60, because this is pretty heavy content. I'm going to see if the drive is well looking at I think it's on, it's on one of my 6 terabyte drives. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it's being bottlenecked. Okay, I'm going to board this now because we got a pretty good idea this runs at about 34 FPS. Now let's go back to Windows. And one other thing you can note is because I'm using a 4K high DPI monitor, the stuff is a lot bigger on the Windows one. I don't, I don't really know why that is, but uh, the high DPI does not seem to work in WSL right now. So we'll just check that looks the same. I think this is a slightly newer one. Let's just try that. And Windows is getting 33 FPS. Give that some time just to see if that's roughly the same. That seems to be about perfectly the same. And I'm just going to... And the utilization seems a bit lower on Windows. RAM usage is about the same. Which makes sense because on WSL, you can only actually... It can only see half of your computer's RAM. We go here 
Uh, like you can see, I, I have 112 because one of my 16 gigabyte sticks is broken, so I don't have my 128. But I have 112 gigabytes of RAM in the system, and I got 54.8 in WSL. You can change that. And I might do that because on a system with 128 gigabytes of RAM, you can probably afford to lose more. It doesn't take it all, but this is just so that you don't get some funky behavior when Windows and WSL both want the same RAM. There we go. Yeah, it's rendering at pretty much the same speed. It's using slightly less CPU, but maybe that's to do with the hypervisor. So that's interesting. Let's let's try some more stuff out here. Yeah, the, the timeline performance actually feels better on Linux, which was not what I was expecting because this is effectively running through RDP, and our native Windows version isn't. But we can, yeah, we can play that at pretty much full performance. Kind of makes me interested to try MPV on Linux. Or WSL, how that compares. But so far, I'm really impressed with this architecture. Now, one more thing I'm going to try is I've written a simple uh, prime sieve in Python, and we're going to try that on both Windows and Linux. Now, the cool thing about Python is that it is an interpreted language. So whether you're on... Uh, Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, Solaris, FreeBSD, you can run the same binary, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, I'm not sure if there's a native advantage. I know that when I've run this on my native Arch Linux, it is a bit faster on Linux, but it shouldn't be a huge amount. Now, I'm using the 7980XE overclocked 4.7 gigahertz, just for performance reference. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we get that. Then we get... So 2653, so WSL once again, a little bit faster. And I also have a version I wrote in Rust, and unfortunately I don't have the source code for it anymore. I could try running it in Wine. Now that's something that would be impressive, is if Linux under WSL running Wine can run the Sieve Bench, 126 seconds, okay. 100. Wow, okay, that's that's legitimately impressive because this is running under wine. This is not a this is not a native Linux. I'll have to remake this at some point to see how it can run native. This is wine, and it's still faster. So what we have learned is that. In most instances, WSL, whether you're using a GUI app or a console app, is basically as fast as native Windows. Now, if we want to get crazy. Okay, there we go. I just had the URL run. Okay, and then we want to do wine. I, I don't know. I, I don't really want to make this into a video of trying to get Cinnabench to run under wine. But everything that did run ran as good or better than native, which is absolutely impressive, I have to say, for all the criticisms I can have of Microsoft for some of their products. WSL and WSL2 is a really impressive product. I think Microsoft's virtualization team is really on point, like I showed with their sandbox technology. If you want another video to watch, I recommend watching the Windows Sandbox now with GPU pass through because I think that's another really cool new thing that Microsoft has come out with in Windows 11. That's all for now. Bye.